write like a man. He's a typewriter. There had been rumors circulating, and this might be one of your. I think this was your question, actually. It, originally, yeah. Yeah, during the uh, the war in Iraq, it was rumored. Courtesy of Rob Skew. Yep. Yeah, he, he mentioned that they may have um, uncovered or excavated the remains of Nimrod. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, my kind of question to tag along with that is, was there something genetically unique about Nimrod that we could expect to see replicated in the Antichrist? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good question. And it's not just a rumor that actually came out embedded in a release from the... Uh, State Department. Um, really? So you, you you probably Google it and get it. I know. I remember. I remember reading it. And it's just wow. in the very small part, right at the end. And it's, I'm not even sure why they released it. Maybe just to get it out and and uh, didn't think anybody would would notice. But uh, yeah. And so there's a, also a thought that they're not really referencing Nimrod, that they might be referencing Gilgamesh, which yes. would be, um, because some people sort of conflate them together. I think they're they different. Do. I've noticed that, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I think if if Nimrod has a Sumerian um, counterpart, it's Enmer Akar, who was third generation as Nimrod was, and he built a Tower of Babel like Nimrod, and I cover that off in, in my book. Um, and... Uh, Gilgamesh was sixth generation, um, mm. as opposed to third. So, I, but a lot of people. But so maybe that conflation in the, is that they actually found Gilgamesh, but they're calling him Nimrod because they consider him the same thing, or yeah. it is actually mm. Nimrod's. And um, but what's interesting about Nimrod then, just to, sort of to go with this, is is that um, Nimrod. We know his father was. Uh, was was Cush? Uh, we get that, um, and people say, "Well, we don't know." It says begat. Well, the, begat's used for almost every time right. <laughs> they have a son yeah. in the genealogy. So <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. there's enough precedence there that, yeah, and he, and his name <laughs> right. is in. Yeah, there's there's, and, <laughs> and his name is in the table of nations, but he yeah. doesn't have any descendants, which oh, is really odd. Yeah, yeah, that is so, really weird. That's true. Yeah. So we making know he's the white man makes you sterile. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. So he's the offspring, and he's in there, uh, but not a, none of his descendants. And I think that might have something to do with his rebellion, at, you know, and and his connection to the Raphaim. Um, not that I think that the uh, Septuagint is super accurate, but in Genesis ten, the Septuagint says he actually made his reputation against the giants to become a mighty hunter and warrior before God. Yeah. It's just, and I'm not sure how they get that from the Hebrew, but that's what the Septuagint says. Hmm.